Hi, I'm Mark Luthold, and I'm going to help you document a singular object. Now, I showed you how to set up the, the, you know, the background. And just FYI, if you have taller pieces, you can go higher up on the wall. But I have short pieces, so this was fine. Um, you just need a little more paper. And so I thought I would photograph this beautiful student piece made a few years ago. One thing I want to do is, before I put it on this beautiful clean paper, I want to wipe the bottom, which, which I've done on this sponge. I have did it before, but I'm doing it in front of you so you can see it. And then I'll just set this piece on the paper. And now, do you see how the piece looks lost? Terrible picture. And here, do you see how this is terrible? It's too close. You're cropping off the pieces. And if this were a detail shot, it should be in focus. So that's no good. This also, you know, you've got a lot of wasted space here and here. So what I try to do when I'm taking pictures is to maximize the space. Also think about the point of view. That's not bad, but I think it's better in the middle like this. Not always. And this this is not bad either, but I think maybe in the middle is better, or maybe a combination like a couple of pictures. This I think the bottom part doesn't look so great in in this shot, so I don't think this is such a good shot. So I'm gonna go up a little bit, and I'm gonna go closer in, and I want it snug in the picture frame, but not too tight. This would be a good picture. So here is where click I would take a picture. And maybe I would do another one. This is also a nice picture. Do you see how I have the piece sort of at diagonal? And that beautiful glaze is showing off very nicely. I think that's a I think that's a very nice picture too. This isn't bad either, but I don't think it's as good as that last one. But I might, you know, film is cheap with the uh, uh, you know, with your phone, so you know, why not? But I think this would be the major one. Now, a detail shot. Let's see if I can do a detail shot. I'm trying to focus. It's not working. See, it doesn't work. Yeah, I think this is as close as I can get. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad detail shot. Or that. Somehow I don't think that's as good. Okay, so that would be documenting just this simple piece. And I'm um, sure you can see how important it is to have the neutral background, because that way you can really focus the attention on your work. And remember, some many people might only experience your work in a photograph. So the photograph is really important. Also, photographs are a really valuable tool for applying to graduate school, to applying for residencies, to apply for exhibitions, all sorts of things. <laughs> um, what else are photographs good for? There's something else I, 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 uh, um, I can't think of it. But um, anyway, well, also for your portfolio. So there you go. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing your photographs.